guys, alam ko, excited na excited kayo makita tong laban na to. Dalawang 7. Band 7 ni Huawei and Band 7 ni Xiaomi. So these two are known favorites sa kanilang respective na brands. The Xiaomi Mi Band is one of the world's number one wearables. Alam natin yan. And Huawei Band 7, hindi siya magpapatalo. It has all the good specs inside this one. And sobrang aggressive ni Huawei ngayon when it comes to wearables. And gusto na natin i-unbox to. I'm excited to show you my real life usage. Na itong dalawang band na ito, i-compare ko siya and I was able to put the uh, Band 7 ni Huawei on my left wrist, the Band 7 ni Xiaomi on my right wrist for 24 hours. So ngayon, it's time to reveal who would be the better choice dito sa dalawang popular na bands na ito. Tara, simulan natin. So hi guys, ako pala si Richmond, the Gadget Psychic, and welcome back to my channel. So of course, gusto natin makita ang unboxing experience nito, dalawang band na ito. So we can see that the Huawei has a more premium packing. As usual, alam naman natin si Huawei, no? yung mga packaging niya is always white and very nice to unbox. Sa point of view na isang gadget reviewer like me, I would love to have a good looking box. Maganda siya for unboxing, better experience, no? Meanwhile, dito kay Xiaomi, we have a black box which is very uh, familiar kay Xiaomi but yung box niya alam natin na medyo mas malambot and well, okay naman kind of presentation. I have no problem with that and of course, for me, the performance matter the most but for the packaging, malalaman natin pag unbox natin. So let's go on and open the Xiaomi Band 7. By the way guys, this is uh, a China variant. Hindi pa lumalabas yung global variant. No? So I just got excited and bought mine from Lazada. I'll show you later yung price, no? So, upon opening, you can see itong Band 7, itong capsule ni Xiaomi Mi Band 7 is here. Like usual, uh, ganito lang strap niya. Very simple, easy to wear, easy to clip on, and it's even removable. Okay, so, yeah, it's similar to the Mi Band 5, Mi Band 6, except it's a little bit bigger. So, hindi na compatible ang mga straps na meron ninyo sa Mi Band 6 dito sa Mi Band 7. And further unboxing, inside there's a charging cable na magnet clip and a user manual which is, di ko alam kung saan ako naitabi. Yun lang naman ang laman nitong Mi Band 7. So, ngayon na unbox na natin si Huawei Band 7. And kita natin, no, this is the global variant. And upon opening the box, kita natin na it's a more premium box. Mas solid siya. And ito ang Band 7 ni Huawei. So later, di-discuss natin yung key difference silang dalawa. And inside the box, we have a magnet clip din na charging cable. Plus a user guide and warranty card. So yan lang naman ang nasa loob ng box ng Huawei Band 7. So first off, ikakabit lang natin silang dalawa sa kanilang respective chargers. So titignan natin, no, with the same amount of force they apply ko sa kanila, kung malalaglag ba sila sa pag-jiggle natin. So, ito si Xiaomi Band 7. Ganito itsura, no? When you're uh, charging it. So, shake natin siya. So, sometimes hindi natin may wasan, okay, natatanggal siya. But with this amount of force, hindi siya natanggal. So, titingnan naman natin ngayon kay Huawei Band 7. And later, di-discuss natin, no? Yung different kind of straps ng dalawa. Who has the better advantage over who. And ito kay Huawei so, ganito pag-clip sa kanya. Okay. Pag-shake. Okay. Hindi rin siya natanggal. With the same amount of force, in-apply ko kay Mi Band 7. So, okay. Both pasado sila sa aking uh, jiggle test. So, right now, pareho natin sila is shut down. Uh, just to see kung sino magbubut up faster than who. So, right now, both are shut down. Okay. Wala na sila. Okay. So, si Huawei... Ang advantage niya, meron siyang button here on the side. So, pwede ko siya pindutin to power on. But si Xiaomi Mi Band, wala. Wala siyang physical button. Lahat na sa touch. So, the only way to wake this up is to charge it up. So, wala ng charger. Then, itatry natin silang dalawang gisingin. Kung sino mas mabilis mag-boot up. Both bands ngayon, naka-off na sila. So, the next thing that I'll be doing is ipapower on natin sila sa bike. So, andito sa akin side is the charger of the Mi Band. So, on this other side, since my power button naman si Huawei, so, pipindutin natin. So, ang gagawin natin, sasabay natin. No? So, in 3, 2, 1, 
Go! Okay, so nauna nagpakita ng logo si Huawei. So, pwede natin hilain si Mi Band. No? Yan. Pwede natin kung sinong mag-boot up faster. And apparently, si Xiaomi Mi Band did boot up a lot faster compared kay Huawei. So, in boot up time, I have to give it to Xiaomi. Okay? So, uh, lamang siya ng ilang sekundo rin no? sa pag-boot up. Right now, we'll be diving a little bit deeper dito. Pag-usapan natin ito, dalawang band na ito. No? So, I'll be putting the all, uh, always on display para makita natin. No? Hindi shut down ng shut down phone. So, going inside the display and brightness. Lagi lang natin sa screen always on. So, lagi natin sa 10 minutes. Okay, napapansin natin, no? ang hirap sa Xiaomi is back, 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 back until the home screen. Unlike dito kay Huawei, makikita natin a little later. So, you always on lang natin display. Yeah, pindot lang natin ito. Diyan lang. Then, pindot ko lang ito yung button. Babalik kasi sa home screen. Ganun kadali. So, it's still better na meron kang doon power button or... Uh, yung function button dito sa gilid, which is definitely better. And first things first, kita natin sa pagdating sa thickness, definitely mas maliti si Huawei Band at 9.9 versus 12mm tong si Xiaomi Mi Band. This is definitely thinner. And by uh, a few mm, does matter. So, sa pagdating sa aesthetics-wise, well, kanya-kanya naman, no? So, I wouldn't really say na mas maganda to over this one or mas maganda to over this one. So, kanya-kanya preference. But ako, if you ask me, uh, I would prefer a rectangular one dahil mas malaki ang kanyang ano, no, viewing angle. Even though na mas malaki ang AMOLED display na ito compared to this one. Yung Mi Band meron 1.62 na inches AMOLED. Ito, 1.47 inches AMOLED. But, in terms of yung kanya viewing angle, makita natin para mas malaki ang display ni Huawei. By the doubt, no? So, pag tingin natin, pag swipe mo lang ganun, parang mas buong-buo ang screen. Yung parang illusion na mas malaki ang screen size niya compared kay Xiaomi. Parang ito mas mas makitid, mas dope, mas elongated siya. Si Xiaomi Mi Band 7 has a display area of 520mm square, square area. So, ito... Si Huawei Band, meron siyang 573mm square, meaning square area ng netong, ano, no? netong Huawei Band is definitely a lot better, bigger compared kay uh, Xiaomi Mi Band. No? So it doesn't mean na pag mas malaki ang iyong inches ng screen size, mas malaki ang display. No? Uh, in terms of yung displayability, to be exact, no? mas malaki ang displayability dito sa Huawei Band 7. So, in terms of display, I would prefer having the Huawei Band 7. So, things will get a little bit more exciting from here on. So, right now, pag-uusapan natin about yung battery life naman ng Huawei Band 7 and ni Xiaomi Mi Band 7. So, sinuot ko to kagabi at exactly 12 o'clock sabay sila. So, syempre, yung aking pedometer and lahat ng statistics would be reset to give it a fresh start. So, both are charged at 100% sabay ko to nila. And si, ano, ah, si Huawei Band, ang bilis na mag-charge. In just roughly an hour, full charge siya. Ito si Mi Band, kulang-kulang kailangan niya umabot ng more or less 2 hours just to complete one full charge na cycle. So definitely in charging speed, mas mabilis ito kay Huawei Band 7 as opposed kay Mi Band 7. Now, when it, terms, eh, when it comes to battery, it's always debatable. Now, uh, both company claims that they can last ng 14 days respectively. So, yeah, I, I, I honestly believe that lahat ng mga ano mo, mga heart rate, SpO2, yung mga sleep analysis naka off, and of course, lower my brightness. It, why, it might even reach 15 to 16 days by no doubt. Now, ako ginawa ko sinagad ko lahat, so I put it on a heavy usage just to see. After a day of usage, ilang battery na lang matitira. So, makakalculate mo naman siya, more or less, kung ilang araw, ilang araw tatagal to. No? So, ako, after using it for roughly mga magtutu weeks to sa akin, no? uh, 7 to 8 days, kaya-kaya ng both bands. Walang problema, out of the box. And right now, uh, papakita ko sa inyo ang battery na natira. No? So, so, right now, it's almost 12 o'clock. So, 23 hours into the... Uh, usage of both bands. So, tingnan natin ang battery. No? So, si 
Xiaomi Mi Band still has 77% na battery left sa tanke niya. And si Huawei Band 7 also has 77% of battery left on its tank. So, ideally and theoretically, sabi natin uh, 20% uh, per day, uh, per day na nababawas sa'yo. So, more or less, on a heavy, heavy usage, kaya ng itagal both bands is 5 days. Okay, so basically, that's based on mathematical calculation. So, of course, that is super heavy usage, okay? So, papakita ko sa'yo, ano mga settings sa na naka-on dito sa akin? So, with that said, kailangan ko ilabas ang both phones. So, ito Mi Band 7 natin na connect sa Zep Life. Okay, so it's the new name ng, uh, dati it used to be um, Mi Fit. Okay, now, uh, check natin ang mga health monitoring natin, no? So, continuous heart monitoring, naka-on. Sleep monitoring, naka-on. Sleep breathing quality monitoring, naka-on. Stress all day stress monitoring, naka-on. Blood oxygen level, naka-on din all day long. So, yun ang mga sinet ko, no? So, mga notification, naka-off just to be fair. Kasi, magkaiba naman, eh. Hindi, doesn't mean na uh, the notification na nare-receive na ito would be the same notification na nare-receive na ito. So, tinurn off ko lahat ng notification to be a fair fight. So, in ko lang lahat ng health statistics na. So, tinan naman natin on the other side dito kay Huawei. So, pagdating naman kay Huawei, you need to download the Huawei Health app which is also available sa App Gallery, sa Play Store, and of course, sa iOS na Apple App Store. So, titinan natin sa device dati kung ano baka naka-turn on. No? Yan. So, kita natin lahat din naka-turn on. Uh, yung sleep monitoring, naka-on. Activity reminder, well, pareho naman naka-on. Pareho. Uh, kung matagal ka naka-upo, after one hour, i-remind ka. Continuous heart rate monitoring, naka-on. Automatic stress test, naka-on. Automatic na blood oxygen level monitoring is also naka-on. So, after one full day of usage, uh, nakita natin na uh, both is 77%. Now, there's something na may kunting discrepancy. Actually, hindi siya kunting discrepancy. But, probably, uh, I can see na medyo malaki ang kanyang discrepancy. As you can see, kay Huawei, umabot na tayo ng 10,465 steps. Okay, so see si Xiaomi, 8,292 steps, which is a far cry. And I'm not quite sure, no, bakit gano'n kalayo ang kanilang, ano, ganitong, uh, ganitong statistics. And ang kanyang monitoring ng uh, travel distance, uh, kay step distance kay Huawei is 7.47 km, kay Xiaomi is 5.95. So, okay, given na uh, may discrepancy sila, okay, fine. Calories burn kay Huawei 764 kay Xiaomi 443. Now, this morning nakapag-exercise ako and I was able to do a lot of aerobics uh, from push-up to jumping jacks to running uh, in steady motion and doing some planks and so on and so forth. So, tingnan natin no, may exercise record tayo dito kay Huawei. Eh, titignan natin yung exercise record dati dito kay Xiaomi. So, both nilagyan natin sa free activity. So, 10 minutes and 29 seconds. Almost the same naman sila, 10 minutes and 15 seconds. So, fair fair naman, okay? So, I was wondering bakit mas kunti na burn ko kay, Xiaomi, kay Huawei as compared kay Xiaomi. 65 or 62, okay. Given na may kunting discrepancy, ang heart rate is also not the same. Okay, so ang average heart rate ko kay Huawei is 109. Ang average na heart rate ko kay Xiaomi is 99. So there are some discrepancy along the way. Uh, I'm not quite sure. So uh, bakita rin natin na itong uh, breakdown. Okay, so tina natin sa fat burning. Uh, nasa around 3 minutes. Dito kay Xiaomi, 2 minutes and 25. So more or less the same. Warm up, yay, five, uh, 6 minutes, pareho naman sila. Aerobic, kay Xiaomi, 0. Okay, kay, kay Huawei is less than 1 minute. So, more or less the same. Okay, hindi nagkakalayo. So, right now, titignan naman natin ang ating sleep analysis. Last night, kay Huawei, nakatulog ako ng 4 hours and 53 minutes. And si Xiaomi only gave me a 4 hours and 45 minutes. So, there's some uh, slight discrepancy. So, hindi siya the same. 
So given that one is on my right waist and one is on my left waist, so there's definitely some discrepancy. So kita naman natin ang chart natin sa heart rate is not that far from each other. So I can say na more or less accurate naman sila yung kanyang chart. Now, even though na si Huawei meron siyang 4,000 watch face for you to choose from, it only takes one customized na watch face dito kay Xiaomi to offset yung 4,000 na meron ni Huawei. Ako, I prefer a customized one any time of the day over this one. Kasi ito, pwede ko personalize into what I want. All I need to do is just download any photos, any, uh, well, family portraits into this one, and boom, tapos na. Iyong iyo to. Ito, meron ka pang kapareho na watch face. So right now, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung mga menu na meron nitong dalawa. So upon swiping down both, magkaiba sila. Kay Xiaomi, notification. Kay Huawei, it's mga settings. So when you swipe up, ito, kita mo naman mga menu. Okay? So lahat yan, nandito. Kay Huawei, when you swipe up, it's the notification. So when you swipe left, both, kita natin, it's uh, dito, music player, then... Uh, WeChat Pay, kasi China Edition to, so meron siyang NFC, may Alipay din siya, so weather app, and the default na screen. Meanwhile, kay Huawei, when you swipe it to the side, uh, heart rate, uh, blood oxygen level, and of course, yung okay, weather report, then music, and of course, ang iyong exercise wheel. So going inside, kita natin, it's almost the same. Uh, you have your mga workout modes, yung mga heart rate mo. Ito meron siyang PAI na wala rin yung Huawei na, by the way. And oh, blood oxygen level, and dyan. Uh, activity records, steam monitoring. Okay, so stress monitoring, nandito rin kay Xiaomi. So, tira natin stress monitoring natin. No? So, kay Xiaomi, I'm averaging at a 49. Kay Huawei, I'm averaging at a 52. So, not that far. Sa blood, sa blood oxygen level, ito ang mga nakuha dito dalawa. So, right now, it all boils down sa aking conclusion about these two bands. So, si Huawei band. Uh, it's a fixed na strap. And you can change it into any strap that you want. All you need to do is unlatch dito. Just like yung mga GT Watch series, a-unlatch mo rin dito, matatanggal mo siya. And you probably might need to buy yung mga special straps ni Huawei just to be able to fit this one. And, well, madali yung mga siya ipalit, walang problema. And this is your traditional na watch, no? So, kailangan mo rin ipasok, like this one. And it take a little time to wear it. Okay? So, pakita ko sa inyo how you wear it. All you need to do is just uh, slap it to your wrist. Then, ipapasok mo siya dito sa butas. Okay? Just like any ordinary watch. So, ganito ang itsura niya when you wear it. Meanwhile, on the other side, si Xiaomi, ang ganda sa kanya is mabilis palitan sa strap niya. All you need to do is just pop it out like this. Ako muna yung capsule. Ganun lang. So, sometimes ginagawa din nila ni Xiaomi. Pwede mo ganito ang pendant or pwede mo lagi sa, sa, sa sapatos. Depende, meron siya mga attachment na nabibili, no? So, hindi lang siya pang wrist. It can also be a pendant. So, it will still continue to count your steps. Except siguro mga heart rate monitor, hindi na magagawa. But, your steps, kayang-kaya naman niya. Walang problema. So, uh, in order to put it back, all you need to do is snap it back carefully. Ganun lang. Ganun lang kadali. Okay? So, that's what I like about itong kay Xiaomi naman na Mi-Ban. Now, changing straps is very easy kay Xiaomi and also uh, wearing it is also very easy. All you need to do is papas mo lang, snap, and tapos na. Okay? Ganun lang. Ganun kandali lang. Okay? You have your uh, Mi Band here. Uh, it's as easy as that in, in terms of wearing. So, in terms of comfort, both are comfy in their own ways. Sabi ko sa inyo. And... No one is better than the other. Pagdating sa comfort level, okay naman sila pareho. Magaan sila pareho. And I love both of them. So, sa every battle, there's always just one winner. And how both of these bands are equally nice. I love both of them. But ultimately, I have to choose one dito. At i -re ko sa inyo kung ano nga ba mas maganda dito sa dalawa. Overall, I love the Mi Band 7 being the world's number one na wearable. Pwede may customize ang kanyang uh, watch face, ang dali isuot ang kanyang strap, and it's really light. 
And on the other hand, si Huawei Band 7 naman is very classy. And I love yung kind of display. Mas malaki ang definite kind of display. And it, I mean, my displayability niya is a lot bigger compared dito kay Mi Band 7. Which is for me, mas practical naman ito. Now, even though na yung strap niya is the old style, but of course, a little bit classy won't hurt naman dalaga. And ang ganda ng kanyang packaging out of the box. Ang pinaka-winning factor dito sa akin kay Huawei is pagdating sa app, lahat, in just one click, kita mo lahat ng mga statistics mo, uh, kahit stress monitoring, blood oxygen monitoring, lahat kita mo sa Huawei Health app. On the other hand, kay Xiaomi Mi Band, hindi mo siya makikita, which is kind of a limitation. And some of the other things that makes me want to buy this more is fast charging siya, ang bilis mag-charge. And yung kanyang steps, no? For me, ah, para mas accurate siya dahil ang count dito sa kanya at the end of the day, 10,405. Meanwhile, dito kay Xiaomi, parang feeling ko parang there's something wrong sa band niya. At the end of the day, halos 2,000 din ang discrepancy niya pagdating sa steps. And definitely, the other things are almost the same, pati battery life. Parehong-pareho sila, no? Nag-end sila at 77 sa near 23 hours of usage na itong band na ito. And I have no problem. And another winning factor is pag-click mo dito, nasa home screen ka na. Ito, pagpasok mo deep into a settings, back ka ng back until swipe, ka, swipe back ka ng swipe back. Let's see, nandito ka. Yan ang siguro ang limitation. Okay? So, kailangan mo mag-swipe, swipe, swipe, and mag-swipe para bumalik sa home screen, which is kind of hassle for me. Now, the Huawei Band 7 is right now retailing at 2,599. Meanwhile, si Xiaomi Mi Band, Hindi pa siya officially lumabas globally. But nabili ko to sa Lazada with a price tag of 2,699. Now guys, ano tingin nyo dito sa dalawang band na ito? I want to listen to your comment. Pop it on the comment section below. Let me know. And of course, if you want to know kung saan yung pwede mabili tong both of these bands, I'll be posting the official link on the description box below. So guys, kung gusto nyo pa manood ng mga battles like this one, compa comparison ng mga smart bands and of comparison ng mga smart gadgets, comment on the comment section below as well. At kung nagustuhan nyo video na to, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click nyo na rin ang bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss ang mga future videos here sa aking channel. And so, ako pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Watch out! Yeah.